Hyperlative. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. And um, this is some more Alpha Protocol, whether you like it or not. I have said it before, and I will say it again. I'm not going to be exclusive to just one game, or just one kind of game, one type of games, one genre of games. I'm going to play whatever I want, and I'm going to, you know, put up videos from whatever game I want. And, um, as I said, I'm really into Alpha Protocol right now. I do realize, however, I probably have to be more, um, uh, more selective, I guess, in the future, which gameplays I'm gonna upload. So um, we'll see on the in the future. But um, for now, this is what I give you. <laughs> so if you don't like it, just stop watching right now. Um, this is gonna be another one of those uh, gameplay commentaries, the old-fashioned way. So um, as you see me do right now, I bypassed through that uh, keypad and got my way into this garage of of sorts. Took out the first guy with a critical shot, then I snuck up on the next guy and did a lethal takedown on him. Then I hacked, I cracked that safe and uh, got some money. And now I'm moving along these stairs up to the, um, well, I guess the second story uh, or the uh, attic, I don't know, of this um, structure right here. So as I open this door, I see this guy right here, I end up killing him, uh, I pick up this lockbox which has some money in it, and then there's another guy here overlooking this um, area. I take him out and just glance around and see that camera over there. I decide not to hack that computer right now, but uh, pick up this ammo mod and uh, move over here where there's a rifle for me. So this is uh, something that I bought before I started the mission. And it's a sniper rifle drop. I can't bring Those sniper rifles with sniper rifles with me, but I can have them dropped on some of the missions. So right now I'm just looking around, and uh, I didn't want to take the shot on this guy when he was in front of the window, because then I'll just break the glass behind them and it'll, it'll alert the enemies. So for some reason he doesn't react that I'm trying to shoot him, and he just turns around. So I line up another shot and t end up taking him out. Taking him out. Uh, by this time, I didn't know that you didn't have to have a headshot to actually take them out with one shot with the sniper rifle. So I always aim for the head when I go for these shots. And another thing... Yeah, well, right here you'll see me actually activate my um, awareness ability, which... Uh, helps me know where the enemies are. So as you can see, there's one right below me, and th and there's one on the other side of that, you know, platform right there. So first, I think that I'm going to take out the guy below me, but I realize that he's not going to go where I actually can have, you know, where I actually can shoot him. So what I end up instead doing is going for the other guy. And if you think that I'm kind of sloppy with a sniper rifle, especially with aiming, especially now you can see them all over the place. It's because there, there's some kind of strange acceleration kind of deal going on when you're use, aiming with a sniper rifle. I can't quite explain it, but it's really hard to um, to aim with. It, I, I, I'm really struggling with it. So it's not as beneficial as you want my, one might think, and I think that's probably because they want to kind of balance it. I'm guessing. I don't know, but um, as I said, I'm having real troubles with it. So right here I'm trying to take this guy out with a, with a critical shot, but it won't connect with, for me. So what I end up doing instead is actually hack this computer right here, which says overload generators. So I hack the computer, and if you haven't realized, you have to find the matches to those key codes that I have right there. So I do that, and the generators over to the right there overload and explode. Now apparently the guard down here doesn't think that that's suspicious at all, uh, but that gate closes right there, so if that prevents some enemies to get into to this area and prevent them from taking me out, I don't know. But anyways, that's what I what, that's what I was supposed to do. 
So next up, I'm going to take down this guy here. And as you can see, he has a yellow arrow b above him, which means that he is uh, suspicious. So he hasn't seen me, then his arrow would be red, but he is suspicious and is keeping in a close eye uh, for sudden movements or whatever. So he may, might also actually go out of his routine route and actually try to search for me. So I just jump, jump down behind him and take a and take him out pretty easily. Uh, it's not a problem as long as not he's not looking my way. So we're close uh, closing to the end of the clip here. I'm gonna pick this lock and uh, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Snackus. <laughs>